Last year, the American Fort Cayman were nearly unstoppable on offense, scoring over 37 points per game. This year, they feature some new faces, but the offense is still rolling. Through the first two weeks of the season, they lead 6A in scoring at 42 and a half points per game. They're led by sophomore quarterback Maddox Madsen, who's a first-time starter at the varsity level. I've really liked it. It's just fun to compete at a higher level than what I've been competing at, so it's, it's pretty fun. Madsen has some big shoes to fill. He follows Boone Abbott, and he threw for 4,500 yards and 48 touchdowns in 2018. But Madsen hasn't skipped a beat, throwing for six touchdowns and leading the Cavemen to wins over Lehigh and Timview. Last year, even as a freshman, he was the number two. So it was a fairly smooth transition for him this year to come out and compete, and he's done well here in the first two weeks. And his teammates have noticed a similarity between the two quarterbacks. Mad Dog has watched Boone a lot, and he's aggressive, and that's what we need because Boone would always be aggressive. If he saw it, he'd wing it, and Mad Dog always slings it, and it's awesome because uh, me and Devin love it when he's just aggressive and giving us a chance to go make plays, and it's awesome just to see him pick up after Boone and just go ahead and just sling it. Abbott's play is the only thing Madison is trying to replicate. He led by example in a different way. As him not being a captain last year, he just kind of taught me how to be a leader by like not being a captain. You know, Our captains are good, great this year, but I think a, a leader of an offense is a whole different thing. And he's getting some help with the transition from a talented group of wide receivers. The Cavemen lose Chase Roberts, but return three starters at wide receiver. Devin Downing, Tanner Holden, and Peyton Wilson. It's nice to have guys that you can trust and just be able to know that you throw a ball, they're going to catch it. Downing Holden, 79 catches for 1,300 yards and 15 touchdowns as a junior and draws a lot of attention from defenses, giving opportunities for the other receivers. He'll get double teamed it several times, which leaves Tanner open on the other side, so it's nice to have two guys that can go out and just ball. Developing chemistry in the offseason has helped them come a long way. Me and Devin have worked with him all season, all spring, all summer, just working on our chemistry, working on our routes. Our coaches have been helping us work on timing, making sure that when we break, he's ready to throw the ball, and we've just been working really hard every day with him. And the work is showing on the field. Against Tempview on Friday, Madsen and Holden connected for four touchdowns. I think that was probably one of the best games I've ever had in my life. It felt really awesome, and it was, it was a really good performance. It was a big win for the program who suffered back-to-back -back heartbreaking losses against the T-Birds the last two seasons. I just felt like they rallied around each other and they just said, we're just going to play as hard as we can. And whatever happens, happens, and good things happen. The Cavemen hit the road again this week, traveling all the way to Nevada to face Arborview. From American Fork, I'm Zach Hicken, KSLSports.com.